We have an important warning about people using your computer to get digital money. Now it's called crypto mining. And honestly, it's a term I have heard, but I don't fully understand it. Now, Kerry Tomlinson with Archer News Network is joining us in studio. My first question to you is, is this real money, real currency that's being used out there? It's crazy. It's really crazy. This is cryptocurrency. This is digital money. And now people are actually using it for transactions to buy real estate, to buy a house. You can use it to buy a house. But what John Oliver, the comedian, said, he said, cryptocurrency is everything you don't understand about money and everything you don't understand about computers put together. Well, In other words, it's confusing. So how does it happen? Well, that's a very good question. So with, with money that we're used to, you have the mint that makes the money and banks control it. With digital currency, it's digital. Someone starts it and makes it, and then all of us using our computers verify it. So instead of taking the dollar to the bank and saying, is this a real dollar? The dollar goes out to different people on different computers and they verify it. Now verifying it, it's very complex. It's a, it's a complex transaction, but it also takes a lot of energy and a lot of computing power, which is why the bad guys want to take your computer to use it. So you're sitting there on your computer and all of a sudden you notice your computer's running really slowly. It's going slowly, the fan is on, it's running hot. It is possible that somebody is secretly on your computer doing these complex math transactions so they can make money. Confused really? yet? No, well, I mean, if so I'm thinking, okay, that, that impacted me by slowing my computer down, that impact me in another way? Well, that's the big question, and that's one reason why this secret crypto mining on people's computers is so popular, because it doesn't actually take money away from you. Now, you could choose to do mining on your own computer. If you wanted, you can get all hooked up and get set up with the various cryptocurrencies. This is legal. This is legal. It sounds shady. It's, uh, well, a <laughs> lot of people criticize it. <laughs> well, it, it's hard. So we have some video that uh, I brought from YouTube. Okay. Maybe we can take a look at it so you can get a sense of the enormity of what's going on. So this video is going to be people who have set up computers in their own homes so they can make as much cryptocurrency as possible, mining on their own computers. Now we say good for them because we really don't want them getting on our computers. Right. Why? Because once they get on your computer for that, they could also do some other bad stuff to your computer. Sure. They could hold it for ransom, they could steal your bank account numbers and your passwords and all that good stuff. So you really don't want them on your computer. So these videos from YouTube, they show people who have set up these rooms with computers and they have fans because it uses a lot of energy and it gets very hot. The other thing is it drives up the prices of computer components. So you might want to buy something for your computer and you can't find it because it's been out of stock for a year because these cryptocurrency oh, wow. okay. miners are doing it. This is international currency, right? This is yeah. international yeah. currency worldwide and people are doing it. It is going to be the future in somehow, some way. We don't know if it's going to turn regular money into cryptocurrency, well, I'm thinking of right? the Star Trek when Captain, where they, they talk in Star Trek movie and they go, oh yeah, we're in the 20th century and they still use money. I'm thinking this is step one towards getting away from money. Well, there are some problems with cryptocurrencies. There are some problems. I spoke to an expert about this. It is very complicated, but to simplify it, basically computers have to constantly be running to keep the cryptocurrency alive. Okay. So what happens so. if there's a global power outage? Well, the cryptocurrency could die. There's also well. a limit to how many computers can be running at one time. So yes, there's, there's a chance that there's an end to it. Now, this is everywhere right now. There's uh, Bitcoin ATMs that you can go to. You can get digital money at really? ATM machines. You can use it for transactions, okay, like, as we said, like real estate. Yeah, wow. this might be the, so they do spend it on bigger items, as in wow. real estate. Well, yes, but right now it is pretty hard to translate cryptocurrency into yeah. regular currency. So for me, my question is, what is the most confusing thing to you about all of this? Because it's a tough subject. Mm -hmm. Well, the most disappointing part is, I feel like once I got rich, the power would go out and I'd be broken. <laughs> <laughs> that would be yeah, you asked the question of us, but you have all the answers. Carrie Tomlinson, so nice to see you, and thanks for coming by. You're